Before we start, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be updated on more interesting videos. Hi viewers, today I'm going to speak to you a little bit more about Bullymax. In my previous videos, we've spoken about Bullymax, a little bit more about Gorilla Max and how do you feed Gorilla Max into their daily regime, their daily food consumption on their meals. Today I'm going to really speak to you a little bit more about Bullymax and what Bullymax is all about. When this company actually started off with uh, a product mainly to build muscles or overall health or immune system or even best progress in build of your fur kits. They start off with the ultimate original Bullymax. So this was the ideal product that the company started off the entire game with. And to me, when I started off feeding my puppies from the start was purely for Bullymax. When I actually looked into the the uh, website and a couple of you know great reviews from people from the US and also overall across the globe, this product actually had testimonies that you know it was hats off to it. You know, it's super good, and it was also a little bit uh, shocking that sometimes it was hard to believe. But when I actually started importing them having these products delivered to my own fur kids, I saw the true essential of the product. It was really, really unbelievable. Within two weeks, I saw the differences. I could see lean muscles built despite I had minimal options to take them off for daily walks. I'm, I'm being honest. I had uh, difficulties when I was busy with work and my day-to-day -day lifestyle was actually getting tougher when I had kids and all those. So I was actually having uh, chances where I only had them on their weekly walks, which is like on the weekends. So I consumed this product because I wanted them, I wanted my fur kids to have the best. I wanted them to be of great health. And this was only one of the alternatives that I could actually uh, feel good about to myself, saying that no, I'm doing the best for my fur kid, you know, regardless of my busy lifestyle, but I had to do something for them, right? So, you know, it, it had nutrient packed in it. You know, full of nutrients in this product. Uh, at the same time, it was compressed in a tablet, just the size of this, and it has a, a double cut base, so you could snap it to two pieces if you're going on different sizes on body weight as well. So it was it was really interesting that a tablet being compressed at such size could actually do wonders to feed a dog with wholesome protein. In it. So the main composition is protein, protein, protein. Of course, you have other derives, other sorts of nutrients, but it's protein derived from animal and vegetable sources. So there was no GMO, there was no steroids, there is no artificial coloring and flavoring as well. So it's all natural. I was surprised. And it's vet proofed from the US. And uh, it's really impressive when you have FDA approving your product as well. So that's something very interesting that this product has. And when I looked into all the, all the criteria, I was amazed. So I thought popping them into my fur kits would justify the results, and it did. As close as two weeks, it really did. And I have three dogs now. All three fur kits of mine are actually being cons consuming Bully Max, Gorilla Max on a daily basis. So I pop in a minimum of two tablets for my double XL pit bulls. And if I really want to see a super growth rate, I pop in three tablets a day. Truly, it's before their one year of age scale because puppies of pit bull range, if they're double XL, they grow at the peak rate of up to a year old. And anything above one year, they still grow mostly on the sideways on the skull and shoulder and a little bit on uh, the body texture and the rib cage. They grow on sideways. So if you really want to grow, uh, get the best optimum growth on height, you have to pump them in within a year age. So I'm really doing the maximum that I can studying the scale of growth. So depends on breeds. If you're looking at a micro exotic bully, they grow at a very slow rate. So they grow quickly within an age of six to seven months and they stunt after seven months. So they grow sideways after that and then 
then they go on to about a year and then they stun completely. So that's different. So when you're going on double XL breeds like uh, Pitbull double XL, if you're going with Great Danes, they have a longer scale of growth. So you just study your chart of the growth. And then you can actually use this to enhance the best built composition of your body. And for, for me, I, I stick with the tablets on a day-to-day -day basis. And if they are picky eaters, they can go with the powder. And this is new. This is something that they just got in. And they also show you a little description on how you can actually feed them in uh, a very much innovative method. Whereby if they are picky eaters, they can actually go down to take up a, a couple of scoops, depending on their body weight. I would ideally recommend two scoops of um, um, Bullimax powder popped into a couple, uh, at least 300 milliliters of water and shaken them into a full complete mixture pour them into their daily kibbles or any of their wet meat resources or dry or canned food and you could actually serve them so it's very very convenient and ideally for a little bit more picky eaters so this is a bit different but um, it all depends if you want to just uh, sprinkle in the powders to their wet food or raw meat diet, yeah, it's easy. Mix them well, as how I always recommend, put in the glove, mix them well, make sure it's well distributed and you get the best ingredients or the best nutritional powder, protein powder in their daily meat or with their daily food consumption. But if your dogs aren't a picky eater and they're very easy to enjoy these kind of um, tablets as treats, pop them, my, my double XLs, they enjoy them. My micro exotic bully, he, he really enjoys it as well. So I think it isn't that much of a problem because it has a very good smell to it. It smells very much like um, uh, it has a little bit of that meat stock flavor to it. So, you know, it smells really good. So I believe that strong smell to it, they just love it. So it isn't a problem to me feeling them. It's so easy. So I just stick with the tablets. It's so convenient to me. And um, I stick on with uh, Gorilla Max as my powder solution for protein pack uh, diet. So it's not just Bully Max. I stick them with the Bully Max as a popping treat on a daily basis every morning uh, before breakfast. Then they run around, they get themselves warmed up, and they get the protein being absorbed into the system. Half an hour after being popped with Bully Max tablets, they are fat with Gorilla Max with raw meat diet. So that's in my previous video, if you were to notice, uh, how to mix Gorilla Max into their daily meal. And then that's their routine diet. And not to worry, I think the next question in mind is that how much are we feeding them in protein content? So it all depends on the breed, right? It depends on the breed, it depends on the sizes, and depends on what you want to achieve out of them. If you want to achieve strong lean muscles, you feed them small proportion of a meal and you add on the proteins to balance that off. So you get lean built muscles. If you are really developing in size, you want that massive built, that huge uh, masculine Godzilla. You know, then you have to get that additional meal intake in, you add on some proteins, you get some exercises done for them for day, at least daily walks. You would see tremendous built quality. Hulk and he has that huge built uh, body and it's idly, uh, I would say it's partly uh, a, a joint effort from Bully Max, Gorilla Max and the way that we feed them as well. So it all depends and I would stick on with Bully Max because it has been a savior to my little fur kids because it has really done them great justice. It's really done them good efforts of building them the best quality fur kids that I've seen up to their age. Hulk is about a year and a half now and he's looking great. He has beautiful fur, he has good sheen to it and he's got nice good built quality, nice bone density. He's huge. He's huge for his breed and his kind and if you compare him against his, uh, his same bed of litter, he's one of the biggest. Um, and I think that ideally justifies the differences from this product that we can actually obtain from. Um, we will show you the link so you can actually see more information of uh, the ingredients and where you can get them. And also, um, 
we will share you more reviews as time comes in. You will see more more testimonies of uh, how Hulk and King Kong, which is ideally my two double XLs, have progressed having Bully Max and Gorilla Max as a consumption since of age of two months old. So they were two months and they start off with popping in Bully Max as the daily uh, consumption. I started off with one tablet a day when they had two months of age and I picked up with uh, two tablets at three months and above and for King Kong as he's now 10 months old he's consuming three tablets a day just to spike up that growth rate and once he reaches a year he will have declined his tablet consumption to two tablets a day and once he is above a year and a half he will be taking up one tablet a day and two scoops of Gorilla Max a day so the protein is minimized so that's how it works on a chart basis you increase the protein content to reach the ideal weight and height of your fur kit and once you're satisfied once you're satisfied with the build then you decline the protein content and then you maintain the lean structure so you don't get them obese or you don't get them underprivileged or under nutrient content so you have to maintain them with their desired nutrient depending on how you and what you are trying to achieve as the owner of your fur kit so I hope you're enjoying. It's a great game. If you really look at it as a hobby, it's the best hobby that is within your reach at home. And nothing nothing like actually taking good care to your fur kids because they are truly your loved ones. You know, they're true family. So I would ideally believe that you feed them the best nutrients regardless, even though if it's not Bully Max, if it's any other product that you're feeding out there, please be sure that you are not underfeeding them or overfeeding them in any because over sources of nutrients can be a point of um, a, a damage as well in a way to their kidneys and the liver or else you could also ensure that underprivileges of nutritional facts can actually cause a lot of health issues as they age joint hip issues you know bone density issues and um, you would actually face them very frequently if they are double XLs or large breed dogs so please be very careful with that ensure that you have got them plenty of filtered water or clean water on the daily consumption basis because that's when you actually get them to flush down all that non-processed protein and non-processed nutritional that is stuck in their kidneys and livers. so you need to ensure that they're fully hydrated on a daily basis so enjoy yourself and i hope that you would enjoy having this best hobby at home and uh, do let us know if you need any any further advice. Drop us a comment below and do subscribe and more videos to come. Thank you.